so much for tuning in. If you are here, I am just checking things out right now. I am new to this entire streaming thing. So just give me a moment. I am so sorry. I know this is awful screen footage here that we are doing. <laughs> there we go, everyone. So I do plan on putting this on YouTube. I hope. I hope it's going to work, guys. I hope. So because of that, we got to do a couple things to get started on this beautiful live stream that I'm hoping is working well because, you know, I don't have my headphones in because I don't like keeping them in my ears, guys. But I mean, hopefully, hopefully you guys can hear me. I don't know. If you can, let me know. Let me know, let me know, let me know. If anyone's watching, let me know. Let me know, let me know. Sorry, I'm like right hopped up on coffee right now. Yes, I am. I'm sorry, guys. I know you can see everything I'm doing and you're probably like, um, why are you in your own stream dashboard right now? That's not good recording. Um, I'm just kind of trying to make sure that everything is going as planned. I just want to make sure. I just want to make sure that I have sound is basically what I'm doing. So please, if you are out there watching me, let me know in the beautiful comments of the stream chat. Please do let me know if you can, you know, see me, hear me, whatever it is, whatever we're doing here. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? If you can't hear me, I'm very sorry. I am not a good singer. <laughs> Just saying. So thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. I'm so sorry. This is off to an awful start. I am so sorry, guys. I promise I'm going to get better at this. I'm going to do this a few times. We'll get there. But... There has been something that has been brought to my attention and I had an interesting conversation the other day that I want to share and we're going to do some research together. I thought it would be fun, you know, my daughter's at school today, finally got her there, finally on time. It's been a thing. Anyway, for those of you who do not know me and are like, who's this girl that doesn't know how to stream just like sitting here talking to me right now? <laughs> I'm not Tom Brooks. I'll tell you that much. My name is Beth or Queen of Spade and I do anti-MLM videos on YouTube. I do anti-MLM advocacy on Reddit, on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I'm out there in more ways than one. So thanks for tuning in here to my very first Twitch live stream. <laughs> I'm kind of excited about it. And yes, I am like this all the time. Again, I apologize. So what are we doing here today? Well, first things first, this gentleman here, this lovely man that you also see on your screen, I hope, I hope this is working guys. Yeah. So he is Tom Brooks, and Tom Brooks here is from 90 Day Fiance. It's a show. Yeah, it is. It's a show. And so this show is basically like people meet, and within 90 days, they're supposed to like get engaged and plan their wedding and be together. And there's always some kind of drama. And as I was researching for this, because here's the thing, I'm going to be honest. Do you know how I watch 90 Day Fiance? I'm Alex, the YouTuber. That's how I watch 90 Day Fiance. I don't watch the show. I'm Alex watches the show and then he does video about it. And I watch through him and I, he hasn't even done one in a while. Alex, listen. Can you please do those? Because apparently there's some things I'm missing. You got to check out this one. So... Basically, I don't watch the show. I had no clue who this guy was, okay? So I had to kind of research him. So I'm sitting here the last couple days. I'm researching 
because what happened is one of my fabulous viewers, I love it when you guys do this, I just reached 100 subscribers, just over, I believe I'm actually at 106 now, which is kind of crazy, because I jumped from like 90 to 100 to 106, like in a couple days, and woo, I'm happy with it, I'm new, I've only been on the platform for a couple of months, so that's why this stream is so crap, I mean, what do you I'm sorry guys, I'm so sorry, I'm trying. So basically, one of my fabulous viewers, because yeah, it's starting to happen, people are starting to send me stuff, and I love it, every time someone sends me something, I'm like, yes, 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 send it to me, hold on. My husband is asking me if my daughter went to school. Yes, she did, I'm doing a live stream, please don't bug me. I've been married for six years, so it's okay to say that. You know what I mean? Like, it's okay to say that. So basically, guys, what is happening here is one of my fabulous viewers, sorry, just sidetracked me right off. One of my amazingly fabulous viewers here, um, they sent me this. Now, she runs a page on Instagram, and it's, I'm so sorry, girl. I now need to look this up again because ugh, it just left my phone. I have people messaging me right now, asking me what this live stream's about, because we old, I'm 33, so like most of my friends are in their 30s. They don't know what Twitch is. I just found out what this was. So they're kind of over here like, girl, like what? what is this? What are you doing? Where do I find this? How do I get on this? And I didn't know how to send the link out to everyone, so I was just like, follow me, follow me, you know, and then uh, hopefully we'll, we'll, you know, get there. So I have one of my fabulous viewers. Sorry, guys, I am going to be looking down at my phone while I'm trying to find this stuff uh, that sent me uh, some weird information about Tom Brooks and the fact that he's, you know, he was in 90 Day Fiance and he's signed up to promote a couple of these companies here. Um, and she felt like it was an MLM. Very strongly felt like it was an MLM. So this freaked her out a lot. And so her account on Instagram is 90 day fiance underscore it's etc like etc um so go give her a follow go give her a like uh when I put this on YouTube I'll leave the link to her Instagram down in the description because obviously people that watch 90 day fiance are gonna be watching this video um like probably even more so than the people that <laughs> don't like MLMs <laughs> So, I'll do that for you guys. I highly recommend checking her out. She posted this video right after she had sent me all this information, by the way, in which Tom here appears to be dancing. And I'm really sorry, I couldn't figure out, guys, I couldn't figure out how to put it on my screen. If you haven't noticed, I'm not good at this whole streaming thing. So, I didn't figure out how to put this on my screen here. And like, I've been trying to figure this stream thing out, guys. I am so sorry. I really am sorry if people are watching as well. I'm just really sorry. <laughs> so, um, basically, what happened is she had done this post. And like I said, I couldn't figure out. Now I got to get my screen back up here. Sorry, guys. So I couldn't figure out how, how to put it up. But she did this fabulous Instagram post where he's, I don't even know if you guys will be able to see it, probably not, but he's like dancing and he's got like a rose in his mouth and he's wearing this shirt that says Bo, like B-E-U, and under it it says Organo, 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 no, it's or Organo. I'm going to say it however it comes out of my mouth at the time. That's what's going to happen here. So that intrigued me. And sh what she said under it was, the only thing I can compare this to is a carnival freak show from the olden days or a car accident. You don't want to look. It makes you feel a certain kind of way that you don't enjoy. And yet, you can't help but watch. Also, why isn't Tom's sister telling him to stop? I thought she loved him. I don't know, girl. I don't know. 
It was some awful dancing. Let's just say that. So then she had done her hashtags about how she she's not a very big Tom Brooks fan. Let's just say that. And he actually, did you tag her? Did you tag him, girl? I don't see a tag on him. So the funny thing is that tells me he's following her page <laughs> or like somehow came across this because she it's not like she tagged him. So my whole thing is, but how did you even see this, Tom? Tom, how did you see this? So he had commented, you know, now people are making fun of his dancing, obviously, because it was bad, guys. Like It was bad. Go look it up on Instagram. Like right now, if you got your phone, go look it up. It's bad. You can find the post. It's still up there. I'm sorry. I have a cold, guys, so I might be sniffing a few times while I do this. I'm also going to be drinking A&W root beer because I, I love root beer. I don't, I don't know what you want me to say about that. This is not a sponsored ad, by the way. I am not sponsored by A&W root beer, although wouldn't that be crazy shit? It's a live stream. I get thirsty. I can cut it out of my other videos, but it's a live stream. So you guys get me raw in this, which I don't know if that's a good thing or not. So hold up. Oh, sorry, guys. So basically, people were making fun of his dancing, which he didn't like. But he was just kind of joking back with people and like laughing at them, which I have to say, the only thing good about Tom in this whole story might be that. Um, so I do have to give credit where credit is due, Tom. You did handle the criticism of your dancing very well. I'll give you that. That impressed me. So basically, um, he is talking about how this whole thing was all a joke, how him dancing around was a joke. So under her post, because she tagged me, she was like, yep, this is the coffee MLM that I wanted you to check out that he was doing. Because remember, she had messaged me on Twitter and sent me some stuff. And then obviously, after that, I would start following her page and checking it out. Came across this post, blah, 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 blah. Here we are. And he had written under it, just having fun. It's supposed to be a joke, laughing out loud. So obviously, people are like telling him his dance like it's a joke. <laughs> things like this you know and so I came on because I'm sassy like this I throw a spade it's kind of my thing I don't like MLM companies so for those of you that don't know MLM is also called pyramid selling network marketing multi-level marketing referral marketing any kind of marketing name they can give it other than pyramid scheme basically is what they're going to do. So MLM stands for multi-level marketing. Multi-level marketing, as you can see here on the screen, is a strategy for the sale of products or services where the revenue of the MLM company is derived from a non-salaried workforce selling the company's products or services usually products and not the best products as we most of us on YouTube that will be watching this later most of us know while the earnings of the participants are derived from a pyramid shaped or binary compensation commission system so basically it's a pyramid scheme with a product I mean I don't know how else people want me to say it that's what it is. So for those of you out there that may be watching this that don't know what an MLM is, that's what it is. The anti-MLM has turned into a very large community actually on YouTube. It has been on Reddit for quite a while. There is like the dream podcast. Sounds like MLM, but okay. I love those girls, by the way. I fucking love those girls. And, um, you know, there's there's lots of YouTube channels out there that do advocacy against these pyramid schemes because they are considered legal in US, the UK, and Canada, which is where I'm from. For those of you who don't know me that came across this random, I am from Canada, 
Ottawa, Ontario to be exact. So yes, the country's capital. That's where I am from. That's where I am streaming from you live today. And so basically I advocate against these companies because I find them really predatory. I myself did It Works and then I did Sensi. That started back in 2016 and I was over it by like, I don't know, beginning of 2018. So yeah, I've been doing this though for a while. I came across a Q Star video back when I was still with It Works. Yeah. So here's the thing. I was like watching anti-MLM videos and I still sign up for Sensi because I was fucking manipulated by the whole thing. They do like a whole lifestyle change. They really do get in your head. They, they, you know, lie to you about being about female empowerment. So if you're like me and you're the type of person that's very into personal development, very into female empowerment, you're a mom, maybe you're a stay at home mom like myself. I do have a five-year-old daughter. Um, and like, I have a wife, like I said, my husband was asking me if she went to school because we've had some issues with that. And yes, she did on top for the first time in weeks. Yes. Anyway, sorry. That was a mom win for me. And you know, I, I got to celebrate when I can little things. So, um, I signed up for Sensi, but I was still kind of like foot out the door with the MLM thing. I ended up starting to advocate against them as soon as I quit Sensi. And I've kind of been doing it ever since on social media. And a couple months ago, I was like, I'll start a YouTube channel and I'll get the word out. It looks fun. My husband ended up, he was injured back when I ended up joining It Works. I just got diagnosed with complex post-traumatic stress disorder, which is a mental health issue. It's a pretty serious one. I had to go back on medication um, and all kinds of stuff. And I had just had my daughter. So my daughter was about six months old when I got diagnosed. And so I had to stay home, work on my mental health and be a mom. And honestly, with the stuff going on with my mental health, I had to put all of my energy into being a mom. You know what I mean? Like took a lot to like be a mom full time, keep the house clean, do that stuff. And also keep my mental health at bay. Anyone out there in the world that has this, you know what I'm saying. It's hard. Uh, PTSD is hard. Any type of mental health issue, it can take a toll on you. You really got to work hard every day. And I do. And so my husband had injured himself, wasn't able to work for a few years. We were both at home with my daughter and on disability. And so I started doing MLMs because, you know, that's who they look for. People like that. And that is part of the reason why I don't like them. I find that very predatory. They look at for stay-at-home moms. They look to go after women that have gained weight from having babies. Just things like this. Um, their recruiting tactics aren't good. They do a lot of cold messaging, which people fucking hate. Like, why are you doing this? Why do you guys still do this? I don't understand, but they do. And so because of that, a lot of people don't like them. A lot of us advocate against MLM companies and I've been doing that. So because I have been doing that, stop going away. Oh my goodness, guys. I keep clicking on the post and having it all out here. And then my thing refreshes because you guys are awesome. And you keep commenting on my Instagram. <laughs> but because of that, it's like refreshing on me. And I'm like, no, where did you go, Tom? Where did you go, Tom? Tom, what happened to you? Where did you go? Currently, he hasn't been having a good time either, by the way. So I feel kind of bad, but whatever. I still have to bring this up. So back to our story. I'm just, you know, I, that was my little introduction for people that don't know what MLMs are. Don't know why I don't like them. Basically, yeah. My husband's back at work now. I do these videos and, and this shit just happened. So I'm out here to talk about it because me and Tom got in an argument. <laughs> Tom Brooks and I, yes, Tom Brooks from 90 Day Fiance and I got into a goddamn argument. And I'm like, oh, uh, okay, Tom, come after little of me. Like I'm a YouTuber with 106 subscribers, Tom. You have more followers than me. It's not fair just saying so guys make sure that you guys all like this video and share this video and watch this video and get this video out there because I need to get more subs now than Tom Tom Brooks because apparently we beef at Tom 
I mean, we beef it. I know I started it, but you know, whatever. So he says, just having fun. It's supposed to be a joke, laughing out loud. And I had to go and open my big mouth because that's who I am. And, <laughs> you know, because like I said, I just can't got wind that he was in the pyramid scheme. And actually, when I saw this, I was looking up the company I saw on his shirt. Right before I commented this, I had it up on my computer screen and I was like commenting on the post. So um, I said, is you pushing a MLM pyramid scheme onto your followers also a joke to you, sir? Or are you a true sociopath taking their hard earned money to sell them crappy products and a false dream? Glad you can dance about it, I guess. Whatever helps you sleep at night. And he responded to me and he said, Queen of Beth, Queen of Spade. That's my Instagram. If you want to come follow me at Beth, Queen of Spade. Uh, so misinformed, but thank you. So, I mean, he was, he was polite. I, I, again, I have to give credit where credit is due. And like I said, you guys can go follow her. And the conversation is still up there. It's under that post still. I mean, you guys can go read it. I'm so sorry I couldn't get it up on the screen. I'm going to figure all this stuff out. I promise. Bear with me. If you ever wanted to see a brand new YouTuber, like, go through the process of figuring everything out. Hi, my name is Beth, Queen of Spade, and I don't get, know what the fuck I'm doing here. But I'm trying. So, I actually wrote back to him because I had to at that point. I was like, Tom Brooks from 90 Day Fiance is actually responding to me now. That's weird. Okay, Tom. And I said, no, actually, I do a lot of work for the anti-MLM community. I feel you and your followers have been misinformed. If you don't want to rip them off, stop promoting the products in company. And I had said that because this is why I said that, guys. I'm going to show you why I said that. I went on this site. Okay, so I went on this site. And the first thing that I saw was join now. Up, up in the top right corner there, right beside where it tells us that we're in Canada. After login in my OGA, there it is. Join now. Tom. Tom! It's an MLM! It's asking me to join its team! Organo! Join now! Tom. So I'm over here like, yes, this is definitely an MLM. Yes, this is definitely a problem because this is Tom Brooks from like 90 Day Fiance and like he has a big following. A lot of people watch that show and I, now he's using it to get them to sign up for a pyramid scheme. I mean, that's what he's doing. And so... That's an issue to me. And it should be an issue to other people out there too. Especially if you watch 90 Day Fiance. You should have a problem with this. Especially if you're a fan of his. You should have a problem with this. You should be like, Tom. Tom. What are you doing, Tom? Anyway. So he responded back to me again. And he said, you don't know anything about the company I am associated with. Which I was like, you're right, I didn't a few minutes ago. So again, Tom, I'll give you that, Tom. You may have been a little bit correct. But I said, I am researching it right now for anti-MLM content, my friend. Because I'm going to be real with you. A couple people have told me about this company. And I clued into that after she had sent me all this stuff about Tom Brooks. When I looked it up, I was like, this is the one that's out of B.C., this company that he's promoting, this MLM, actually began here in Canada, in British Columbia. And it's come to my attention the past several months, like, yeah, about six months or so, that we actually have a lot of MLMs that are opening in Canada. I thought most of them were in the U.S., some were in the U.K., but we actually have some open here in Canada that run here in Canada or open here in Canada. And they're also signing up people in the U.S. and stuff too, by the way. So you, you guys in the U.S. aren't safe from them either. So I had actually kind of come across the Organo MLM 
uh, in research. And so when I clued in that this is, yes, this is that coffee one from BC, because as I'm having this conversation with Tom here, I'm on the website for it. And I'm like looking up the story of how they became an MLM and it kind of clicked. Oh, this is the coffee one from BC. Yeah, I have heard of that one once or twice. I did want to do a video about this because being Canadian, I can really only stop for real the ones in Canada and the people in the U.S. have to stop the ones in the U.S. People in the U.K. have to work to stop the U.K. We can all come together to talk about it, discuss, bring awareness, like bring evidence because all the evidence can all be taken for the court cases. It doesn't all have to come from the country, especially if they are expanding to other countries. It's good to like show that they also need to be shut down because they're expanding, if that makes sense. Um, and I do plan on like I really want to get the ball rolling to go to court here in Canada. I am in Ottawa, like I said, so I got easy access to, you know, the way to do it. Parliament, all that stuff. So, you know, guys, let's do this. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you follow, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do do videos every Monday and Friday at 10 a.m. I have a series on there called The Manipulation of a Hunbot, where it's very psychological and informative, where we actually go deep dive into how people like Tom here get manipulated into joining MLM companies and apparently don't even realize it because Tom here has totally been like, girl, you don't know what you're talking about. It's not an MLM. So I was like, I'm researching it right now, Tom. And he says, please do. And then a girl named Ruby underscore red underscore 26. Shout out girl. She actually goes, girl, he can't even dance about it because Tom Brooks can't dance. Clearly, he's not making money out of his moves, so he has to make money some other way. Shake my head. And I was like, see, this girl gets it. Tom. Tom. Wake up, Tom. So I responded back to her and I was like, it's obvious. He's a sad man. And he says, laughing out loud, never been so happy. Because when you're running a pyramid scheme, <laughs> you just can't contain the, the joy and the excitement. You know, it's just like spreading the love and the joy everywhere. I'm just woo, happy, happy, happy. Tom, really? So I responded to him and I said, I would hold off celebrating just yet. And here we are, Tom. Here we are. I'm doing this video because then last night I'm sitting here and I'm going, Tom, I don't know if poor Tom even knows. Tom, do you know? Do you know that multi-level marketing is a pyramid scheme? Just read this, Tom. Just I'll give you a minute. One second. I'll take a sip of my drink. You read this, Tom, and then you, maybe you'll get it. Just look at the first thing they said it's also called. Just do that for me. Yeah? Pyramid selling. Come on, guys. At least try to hide it a little better. So, of course, then I'm researching Tom. And apparently, like, he got cheated on by his other star... Again, I don't watch the show, but his sister accused Silva of cheating on her brother with a man named Michael while she was still seeing her English heartthrob, which, I don't know, is that Tom? I'm, I'm confused. This is why I don't watch the show. There's too much drama, Tom. Maybe if you stopped doing drama, you wouldn't be all involved in the pyramid schemes. I don't know. I don't know if that has anything. I don't know if they correlate. I don't know if they have anything to do. I'm just, I'm just throwing it out there. It might be a thing. But I am sorry that this is happening to you, Tom. I will say that because then I felt kind of bad. I was like, man, should I do this video? Should I do this video? He's going through a lot right now. I'm sorry, Tom. But then I was like, you know what? No. Multi-level marketing is a pyramid scheme. 
scam. And if this guy has all these followers that love his sh his show or the show, then he featured on or what? How, however you would say that. And they are a fan of his and they're going to be signing up for this just because he's promoting it. I got a problem with that. I have a problem with it. You should have a problem with it. Everybody should have a problem with it. Tom so far doesn't have a problem with it. Okay. Come on, Tom. Tom. Just listen to me, Tom. So, we're doing a little breakdown of this company right now. You and me, on here. I just want to make sure this is all working again. Because, again, I suck. I am so sorry. You guys are probably like, what is this? What is going on? Oh, my God. So, I hope you can hear me. I hope that you all are having a great day. I promise you, we're going to get through this live stream. <laughs> Hello, can you hear me? I really, really, really hope so. Okay, so. Um, now. All right. So, let's check this out now. Let's go. Sorry, guys. Let's go check this out. We're going to check out. Organo. Organo. Organo? Oregano? It's not oregano. We have already established that. So as you can see, it says, are you ready for a challenge? <laughs> like what? What? No. Cashback cyber money. Like what is this stuff? What is this stuff? Tom. Tom, what is this? So I don't know. It's some kind of company. Now we have give the gift of glowing skin. I'm over here thinking like it's coffee and I come on the website, Tom, and oh, there's the espresso. It's for a limited time only, but you can buy it now. Um, so, okay. Travala. I don't know what any of this stuff is, but apparently you can buy it now. I don't know what it has to do about that, but you know, let's just check this thing out. Let's check out. Organo, it is the company that Tom Brooks has been promoting. We got to check it out because being anti-MLM, like, Tom, you can't be promoting MLM companies to your followers. Pyramid schemes are not cool, Tom. Tom, pyramid schemes are not cool. Okay, so, and yes, guys, I'm always like this. <laughs> this is just me. People are like, do you act for your videos? I'm like, no, this is actually just my life. <laughs> Welcome to it. So Organo is a global network marketing company on a mission to change lives by helping people reach new levels of balance, freedom, and well-being through our premium products and business opportunity. <laughs> Hi, I'm Organo. Can I help you in any way? No, you're interrupting me doing a video on your thing. No, I'm just talking about how you are a pyramid scheme. Oop, I don't know how to spell scheme. Have a good day. I don't know how to spell good either. This is bad. All right, guys. I promise we're going to get through this live stream. I promise. Bear with me. So, <laughs> Tom. Organo is a global network marketing company. Global network marketing company is a fancy word for MLM pyramid scheme, Tom. You should know this. They said, okay, thank you for contacting us. I'll talk to you in a little while there, Organo. You probably won't be as happy with me as you thought you were going to be. I don't know. Anyway, so it says about us. So this is what they sell because, Jesus, what do they sell? I'm over here like the... I just had a hair clip randomly fall out of my hair for those of you that just saw that. Yeah, welcome to my hair now falling apart. Welcome to my life falling apart. Excuse me, hair. I'm trying to do my first ever live stream. Why are you doing this to me? Okay, sorry, guys. So... It says our beverages, nutraceuticals, and personal care products are available exclusively through Organo Distribution Partners all over the world. Oh no, all over the world? All over the world? Tom, 
You are promoting this to people all over the world. And you know it's an MLM. You have to know. Tom, it says join now. It talks about how it's a network marketing business. Literally, look at that. Do you guys see that up in the top left corner there of this screen that I'm showing you? It says company about us, network marketing business, or, you know, gold. Tom. Anyway, so apparently they just sell a whole bunch of crap. It's basically a whole bunch of things. Um, Ta-da! They have green tea. They have coffee. We got some shakes. Yeah. Um, you know, basically, it looks like it's anything you would need to... I want to say it's organic. It's supposed to be organic, organo... I'm guessing right now, guys, we're learning about this together. Let's just like kind of see this. So it says that OG, is that what they call themselves? Like the OG? <laughs> like, why? Why, Organo? I'm so sorry, guys. I have the worst cold. Do you know what? One sec. I'm going to be right back. I know I shouldn't be doing this when I'm doing a video. You guys are like, oh my God, I can't get my face in front of YouTube. Why would you walk away from the camera? But I just literally need a little bit. I don't want to cry on the phone because I'm a mom and she's an SK and, and I don't know, I'm freaking sniffing and it's bugging me. All right, I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. Let's do this again. So what do we have? It says, oh, G distribution partners can provide product samples, individual <laughs> product sales and automated shipping options and discounted sales through our preferred customer program. Do you know who else has a preferred customer program, Tom? Do you know who else, Tom? It works. It works has a loyal customer program too. They're also an MLM. That doesn't mean they're not an MLM, Tom. As soon as you see join my team, MLM. Then it says love the products. I'm already sniffing again, guys. I'm so sorry. Then it says love the products. <laughs> Our innovative business opportunity offers generous compensation options for people that are looking to build a world-class business or earn some extra income. Join today. Tom, like it's an MLM, Tom, join today, hashtag join my team, hashtag boss babe, hashtag bro boss, I guess, right, Tom, is that what you are, you're a bro boss, I mean, we'll go with that, so <laughs> here, as you can see, it basically promotes the happy life, we got this girl, she's so happy, with her coffee. Oh my God, look at her. Don't you wish you were just like this girl this happy with your coffee because you don't get it from Organo. So that's why, bitch. That's why you ain't happy with your coffee every morning. Your fault. So then we scroll down and it says that they have a foundation. Da 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 I am not gonna fucking freak out. I hate it. Hate it. When these MLM companies have foundations, because half the time they're fake. They're not real. I'm going to do a whole video on that in future. There's a lot of research that goes into that. And I'm thinking it's going to be for in my series, the manipulation of a humbot every Friday, 10 AM. That's the deep dive documentary kind of like series that I do because like it's so much information because they all seem to have these foundations or like retreats as unique has like this sexual assault center re retreat thing. Yeah. I'll be talking about that. Cause that one really bugs me as someone with a past in that area. Like I already told you guys, I have CPTSD. It, it ain't a secret. So that one bugs me. So I'm going to be talking about that in a video, but here we are here. Organo, Organo, Tom, 
Tom, are you also doing donations for this foundation? Because I saw that you were trying to do something for the Ronald McDonald House, apparently, which I've heard is also a little iffy. I might look into that more too, Tom. I don't know. I think you and I are just beefing now, but I don't know. I mean, you were nice to me, and thank you, but... I'm just, uh, this is upsetting to me. It's a fellow Canadian. I am not a winner of anything. Look at, I'm getting spam as I'm trying to do a video about scam. I mean, you get spam when you try to do a video about scams, guys. So basically, MLMs are a scam and we need to stop them, Tom. And you can't be promoting this. We have the Napoleon Hill Foundation is who they have a relationship with. And they have the Think and Grow Rich book. As you can see, it looks, it looks fucking stupid. I mean, what do you want me to say, guys? It's like this red book with like gold writing on it. We got this black and white picture, like this dude in black and white. What? What is this? What kind of ad is this? This looks bad. Just saying. And apparently it sold over a hundred million copies worldwide. And it's credited with helping millions of people become successful entrepreneurs and achieve financial success. And like, you know, how could this company be a pyramid scheme? They're teaching everyone how to also have success. Oh, wait. Wait. Yeah, no, see, it's still a pyramid scheme. If anything, that's like the foundation and what they lie to you about. We're going to teach you how to do it. <laughs> we'll teach you how to be successful. I'll join my team, right? And then, like, I scroll down. I'm just scrolling again. Here on the website, as you can see. And then we have bags for life. Um... Tom, do you use a purse, Tom? I mean, like, it's cool. I've heard that there are man bro bags out there. <laughs> Boss bro bags, I guess, is what they'd be called for you. I don't know. But is that why you promote this? Is it that? Is it the coffee? Or is it the bags? It's the bags, isn't it? You like those. So, like, I don't even know. I don't know what the bags have to do with with coffee um but they apparently also sell them too uh so there's that <laughs> which i just i don't know like i don't know what this is uh, apparently they're there's this is like some new thing that they've started some new like uh Let's find out about this, because, like, now I'm just confused. I'm confused, Tom! I'm confused, man! Like, I don't know... I don't know what this is, bud. I don't... Like, why are there bags for life? <clears throat> also, like, excuse me, but who... Like, who needs bags for life? Like... So it says, Organo's latest initiative speaks to our core purpose to help make people's lives better all around the world. Organo aims to reinvest in the communities where we operate. Cool. This new campaign focuses on empowering marginalized women while pro promoting sustainable production. So basically what this says is, hi, we've created all these bags so that we can then trick women with female empowerment so that they join our team and also promote our products. <laughs> Aren't we smart? Fuck you, Organo. That's all I'm saying about that. So there's that. And then they have the initiative. So they're claiming it's a nonprofit organization that provides work to unemployed women in impoverished urban areas it lets our distribution partners and customers get involved in a meaningful way recycling their trash to transform it into livelihood opportunities for their women and their families um i'm sorry what tom tom 
Really, Tom? Are you seriously telling me? You're telling me right now, Tom, that this is basically a little area of the company where people give their trash to the company and it turns it into bags to give poor women work? And then you call that female empowerment. Tom. I mean, I guess if you want to try it, but I don't know, it's not sitting right with me. Like, this picture here just does not sit right with this picture. Like, I'm sorry, I'm a white bitch. I really am. But when I am thinking about, like, these companies are probably run by some fucking rich ass white CEO sitting up on a fucking throne. And now he's like, all like, huh, huh, huh. we have these women making these bags for me. Baby, I'm trying to live stream right now. Like, you're going to have to wait to talk to me while you're bored at work. I'm sorry. Oh, I mean, my husband never gets bored at work for anyone out there who may ever watch this that works with him. <laughs> so, basically... That picture, though, that picture just... I, uh, bah, I hate that picture. I hate that picture. I hate it. I fucking hate it. The fact that that picture and this whole thing, this whole bag thing, the, just the whole thing, I don't like it. It's like, we give our trash to them and then they can have jobs to make bags. <laughs> I fucking hate it. Fuck this whole thing. That pisses me off a lot. I don't know why they think this and they say sharing and caring is the core of our business and we aim to make a difference in people's lives for the best with our trash <laughs> in order to help these women to meaningfully enhance their lives and those around them. Our goal is to produce 5,000 bags for life by the end of 2019 with your trash it's like us rich people we give them poor people trash to make bags so that they can feel good about themselves and be empowered and maybe have a job <laughs> are we great no like fuck this man i don't know it's just this is why i don't like mlms this kind of shit pisses me off i see something like this and i go ah oh, you're definitely trying to take advantage of marginalized people i'm sorry but that's what this looks like to me and i'm just it pisses me off. And this is in Canada. Canada? Really, Canada? C Canada's doing this. See, it's not just the states that are shit, guys. Apparently, we are also shit here in Canada. Apparently, especially Tom Brooks. I don't know. Come on, dude. Come on, Tom. What is this? You told me I was going to research Tom and that I was going to find out good information under that post. Under that post. The at 90 day fiance underscore ETC. On her post of you dancing around, you told me. You're going to find do information. Like, go get this information. Don't be misinformed. Go research this. You'll be happy. You'll see it's not an MLM was basically what I thought you were saying. But here I am on this live stream. We're going through it. Tom, not only is it an MLM, but it has, like, these foundations that I'm just not a fan of them, Tom. They look really crap for... Mr. White Man over here to be given this smug ass smile while he's promoting this company to thousands and thousands of followers and people that look up to you and are going to take your word that this is a good company to join Tom and you feel good about that. You can sleep well at night. You feel so good about it. You wanted to argue me about it. And you told me to go research it. And tried to tell me I was misinformed. But I mean. Me and my viewers now are getting informed together bud. And I'm not happy with what I see. Like I don't know what you want me to say. Like we even have fake success stories. Because you, you guys all know that on these sites. The success stories they're the top people in the company doing these success stories. Like, what, it's, what do you think they're going to say? And do you think they're going to put unsuccess stories on their website? No, they're not. You're only going to see the success stories, obviously. So, obviously, one sec, guys. I have a heater on and because it was so cold in here. The heat in my building isn't the best. I live 
in, you know, Ottawa, and it's cold here, but not as cold as usual for December 2nd, I have to say. Happy December, by the way, to everyone out there. Um, But, like, <laughs> I had to turn off the heater. I'm dying now. Because this is making me angry. Tom, I'm hot because this is making me angry. I'm married, so it ain't that I'm hot for you. And I, I promise you, because, trust me, I'd be real pissed off if I was your girlfriend and you started joining an MLM company because my husband wasn't pleased with me when I was with It Works and Zensi. Let me tell you that. So uh, maybe that's why she cheated. I don't know. I don't know if that has anything to do with each other. And yeah, that could have been mean. And I might be sorry, except again, like I said, you are using a large platform, Tom. Tom, you are using a large platform to manipulate your followers into joining a pyramid scheme under you so that you can then be successful at the top of this pyramid scheme. And that's pissing me off. So I just, I, th I think that even with me saying that I'm still a better person than you, Tom, I'm sorry, but I win there. So here we have these success stories and it says, taste the gold. Like that's what I want to do. Have you ever put gold in your mouth? Have you ever by accident or like, maybe, I don't know. I chewed on a necklace once. I had a gold necklace. I don't know. You know how you get bored and you're just kind of like, and then you put, I did it. It tasted nasty. I spit it right out. Gold doesn't taste good. I don't know why you would want to have that as your motto. Taste the gold. I don't know. But, you know, here we are. So we have this success story. All these success stories. Now, we have these people here that are just like, bleh. Let's see, which one, which one looks like? Hmm, I feel like, okay. So these people here, they definitely look like they're high, high up, you know? And then we have these people that are probably also pretty high up. I mean, they're even giving us the we're high up finger, guys. So, gotta listen to that. Now we have... That couple looks really cute there with their ears and their smiling faces. But I don't know, something about these two right here with their their X shirts and their muscles, you know, I want to check them out. Let's see what their success so let's see what their success story is. I'm sorry guys, I actually do have a slight speech impediment. I'm sure you can kind of tell when I'm saying certain words and stuff. My husband teases me all the time because there's certain words I just, I can't say. Like, I say milk really weird and he makes fun of me. Like, <laughs> little things like that. I do have the slight one. So that's kind of why sometimes my words get a little bit jumbled. And I talk fast and I have anxiety. So then there's all that. So, like, okay, first of all, I don't even feel like this is a success story. Um, I feel like. This is like their whole fucking profile. I don't want to read all this. I don't want to read all this. Tom, like how am I supposed to find out how people are successful in this company you're promoting when it's fucking 10 pages long? Like my viewers are going to shut this video off. They don't want to read all this. I don't want to read all this. Like what is this? What just happened to my screen? I don't even know, but sure. Sure, we'll do it. Um... I really just, I'm just like, oh my god, oh my god, um, like, it's all in question, like, they did a fucking interview on these people, I thought it would just be that normal, like, see, that's what they're doing, they're trying to make it look different than an MLM company website, that's what they're doing, and just kind of prove that, because usually their success story would be, first of all, it'd be right there on the front as soon as you click, like, see success stories. You don't usually have to click in other things to read the full story. They usually have like just a little blurb on there, you know. And secondly, you don't go to a whole other like website page here <laughs> and where it's a whole fucking interview. So they are trying to make it look like it's not an MLM. So I got to give them that maybe. I don't know. Is that more manipulative though? I feel like it might be. I think it is. I think it is because it's like they're trying to hide the fact they're an MLM. I mean, you got It Works and all, and like Herbalife, Beachbody, all those companies. 
And at least they're like, we're an MLM. It does appear that this one's kind of trying to hide the fact it is. But I mean, it says join my team and then there's success stories and all this. It is. It is an MLM. It is a complete MLM. Okay, Tom. Like, I don't know what you want. Again, definition of MLM. Most people do know what it is. But just in case you don't, I've put it on screen several times when I do put this on YouTube, on my channel, which should be at the top. You can see it. It is youtube.com slash C slash Queen of Spade because my viewers are fabulous and they got me to 100 subs so that I could actually change it and make it say Queen of Spade. Oh, yeah, they did. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I, I love my community I'm building. It is awesome. I love the people in it. Everybody is so sweet and funny and sassy and with it. And then they send me stuff and they send me new stuff. And I, I just love them. Everybody's awesome. And they follow me on social media and they just rock. I have some amazing viewers already. And I've only been doing this for two months. So I'm just fucking happy about it. Okay. I'm like, wow. You know, even if this is all the success I ever get. I'll be fucking happy. I love these people. These people fucking rock. These are my people. That's just how I feel about you guys on YouTube that will watch this later. It just went on a rant. Sorry, guys. They're like, it's okay. You're talking about me. But so, like, I don't know what more I can really say about this. I don't know more I can show you. I mean, it's an MLM. They have all the success stories. So products, we have beverages. Body management, personal care, skin care, tea room, travel services. So basically, to sum it up, <laughs> Organo is a fucking MLM that started back in BC, here in Canada. And it was a while ago. Sorry, I'm going to try and look up exactly when it was. Because I did find it on here the other night. And now I'm having trouble, guys. I am so sorry. But yeah, I'm having trouble where it fucking was. So this is what it looks like. It looks like this company is a lot like Avon or Amway. Scamway. Amway, um, you know, these companies that have several different kind of products to promote an MLM, because here's the thing, their products are usually shit, they're crap, so they need several of them, the whole thing for a lot of these companies is, there's a product for everyone, and it's like, yeah, because you gotta try to find a product for someone, because they're all crap, and most people aren't gonna buy it, so you need to come up with like 10 different fucking products to sell in 10 different avenues in hopes that you get a few people in each avenue buying off of you. Otherwise, your company would shut down if it just depended on products because it doesn't. It actually depends on recruiting and it depends on the consultants paying into the company to stay there and like, you know, build their dream life, which is really what these MLM companies do is they run off manipulation and they sell you a dream life point blank that's it so what this specific company let's just look at their values quick and then i promise i won't keep you too much longer <laughs> i'm sure you guys are like longest fucking video ever oh my god i hear you and i've been like sick and i got out of here oh it's been a little bit of a disaster i'm sorry guys i'll get better and better with this but i gotta do more to get better people gotta watch them if i want to keep doing them and you know so make sure you share make sure you like make sure you follow me on everything Let's, you know, like I said, let's build a community. I love you guys. So, Organo says, We believe in a strong sense of allegiance and loyalty. Isn't that fucking wonderful? As one family. Now, <laughs> if you guys go on my uh, YouTube channel right now, you'll notice the last series, the last series, the last episode I did for my series, The Manipulation of a Humbot, was actually on language and the language they use. So if you saw that, I just, or if you haven't seen it, go watch it and then you'll know what I'm saying here. 
And if you did watch it, you're going to know what I'm about to say. But pay attention to these words that are highlighted. Pay attention to how they're like wording things, how they highlight the word loyalty, family, united. This is what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the words they use, the language, how they're trying to get into your mental schemata, all that psychological kind of stuff. This is what they're doing. They're using this to get in here to change the way that you view the world and how you can go about having the American dream. A lot of us do kind of go, well, I'm just going to go work a nine to five. The whole thing about MLMs is they're all like, don't work a nine to five job, come work for us instead. But it's a fucking pyramid scheme. So they're just trying to trick you into it. And you should probably just go work a nine to five job. Like there's nothing wrong with that. Tom, listen, Tom, I know that you were on 90 day fiance and that you're like a big TV star and everything, but there are a lot of people out there that work nine to five jobs and there's nothing wrong with it. There is nothing wrong with working a nine to five job. As long as you don't want to kill yourself when you go home every day, which honestly, most people don't. Most people find a job that they enjoy. They find a career they enjoy, or at least they find something that they can fucking get paid doing every day that doesn't make them want to kill themselves at the end of every day. I mean, unless you do YouTube and cringe content, and then you pretty much, your whole career is based off of cringing and wanting to kill yourself every day. But for the most part, people don't go home wanting to kill themselves every single day. So working a nine to five job is actually very respectable. <laughs> okay. Um, there, we used to live in a time in society where when you were just sitting at home, not working a nine to five job out in society in the world, in the community, that was frowned upon. And we've done this like weird flip where it's almost like now it's the other way around, except it's not a positive outcome. And I'm going to be talking a lot about this on my next episode on my series. But it this ah, it just kind of goes to show that our whole society just kind of gets manipulated into this belief that these companies are the answer for being able to spend more time with our families, stay at home, have financial freedom, blah 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 blah, and language is a very big part of that. Tom I know that you know a little bit about this, okay? I feel like you're an intelligent enough dude and you gotta know a little bit about language and manipulation. I mean, you have been on TV before. I've done acting school and stuff. I don't know if you have, but I have. And I can tell you that's something we learn. We learn about language. Script writing, you gotta learn about language. I'm a writer. And I just, so I know that you know this stuff. Like that's, I just kicked my whole fucking thing. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean to kick you guys. I'm so sorry for kicking you. Not you, Tom. Fuck you. But no, Tom, you know about this, okay? You know about it. You know better. And that's what's bothering me. You know better. You're not this dumb, Tom. So, you know, it does say we believe in a strong sense of allegiance and loyalty. As one family, we stay the course to support each other all the way to the top because we, I'm surprised that one wasn't big and highlighted, because we understand we are only as strong as we are united. Because those are important fucking words, right? You got to make sure that everyone gets that this company is about loyalty, family, and everyone's united. Um, because then how do you manipulate people? We got this beautiful picture of a family here. What do you guys think I think about that? I'm going to try not to rant about it right now. I feel like I've brought this up enough and I'm going to continue to bring it up in future. So we're just going to keep on reading what this fucking thing says. Through edification, edification, we grow both in knowledge and entrepreneurial spirits. We believe that everyone can harness their power and get paid what they are truly worth edification the fuck is edification Edif edification sorry ed edification what the fuck is that guys the instruction or improvement of a person morally or intellectually top why are you fucking with people's morals, Tom? No, seriously, though. That's what these companies are doing. 
And th- th- this one's just like, yeah, we do that. We that's what we use. We get your head. We get into your morals. That's that's what we do. And again, family picture. Again, you know how I feel about them using family. We operate in a world of parody where everyone is treated without judgment. Everyone's treated without judgment. I'm just very uneducated because I don't know about this company. And the fact that it's not an MLM, right, Tom? Because it's not an MLM, right, Tom? I was misinformed, Tom. I don't know, Tom. It's looking pretty MLM-ish to me. Again, I haven't found one thing on this thing that, like, they got a blog. They got a photo gallery. They got videos. They do these fucking retreats. Like, I don't know. You got Joy Now. Why Organo? Why should I join, Tom? Hmm? Why should I join your team, Tom? Are you going to promote that everybody join your team? Because you're already promoting the company. You're wearing their shirts. You're posting. You're tagging. There's hashtags for them. You're promoting this MLM company. I'm sorry, but I haven't seen one thing on this website so far that doesn't that makes me believe this is a legitimate company that pays its employees by hour or with a salary. It just talks about commission payment and empowering them, which is basically a fucking MLM, Tom. What do you mean it's not an MLM? Oh, I don't even know what's going on. Okay, listen, Kim, Kim for Organo. No, you can't help me. I I need help. I need help, Kim. I need help, but it's not the help you're going to give me. I need help now figuring out why the hell this company is allowed to run and why Tom Brooks here thinks it's okay to promote it to his followers to get them to sign up for a pyramid scheme. I mean, I don't know how else to say it, Tom. I'm sorry. I'm trying to be nice, Tom, because like I said, you were nice to me on Instagram when we got into our argument. You weren't that rude. I keep calling it an argument. Like we were like, but we weren't. You weren't rude. So yes, Tom, I get it. Cool. You know, I'm not upset about that. I'm not. Um, But basically, I just, I can't find anything on here. I can't find anything on here that tells me that it's not. And I'm getting upset. So, I mean, you told me that I would. So I was expecting to. Ah! So it says, what makes Organo products so special? Simply, it's Ganoderma, the gold behind Organo. Ganoderma is a herb staple used in Asia and is gaining notoriety in the Western world. Health starts at the cellular level where all energy and aging of our bodies occur. Every day our immune system is under attack from stress, lack of sleep, poor diet, and pollution. Simple vitamin C is not enough if you protect and defend your health. (laughs) <laughs> you need to power. You need the power of the secrets of the ancients. I'm sorry. I I, I like read the words like a couple ahead. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's my brain. So I had already gotten to ancients pretty much. Secrets of the ancients. And, and then I started laughing as I was trying to get through the sentence. <laughs> it just threw me off. I was like, secret of the ancients. What? Says Ganoderma. <laughs> The powerhouse of mushrooms has been used for over 2,000 years for its ability to support a healthy immune system because it helps support it help a healthy immune system because it help support Tom. Tom, why are there grammar mistakes on the website, Tom? I have a problem with that. I'm kind of a grammar Nazi. A little bit, just like when it counts, like on your company website, that's supposed to be professional and not have spelling errors. Tom, you're promoting a company that's an MLM that has fake foundations and it also has spelling errors. 
there's no river in this. It helps support the growth of your body's own active immune system cells. Furthermore, antioxidants, fuck the antioxidant thing. Sorry, I did it works and they were all like, antioxidant, antioxidant, antioxidant. So I'm like, why does that keep getting used to hook people and sell the buzzword antioxidants? Bah. And a healthy diet can really help your body fight the side effects of inflammation. We use the spores, the mycelium, and the Ganoderma cap. Each has its own unique blend of antioxidants to support fighting free radicals that can cause inflammation and damage at the cellular level. Here's the story behind this miraculous ingredient and the mushroom from where it came. Listen, I don't know what the fuck this is trying to say. Like, we found a magic mushroom. <laughs> Literally, that's what this is saying. It's like we found this magic mushroom and it's going to cure all of your stuff. And you're like, it's like Chinese medicine, which like Chinese medicine, cool. Like, go use it. But I just to like, it's like these white people just came, <laughs> stole all the Chinese mushrooms that had magic in them. Apparently that solves all of our ailments and that's what this company is based off of like i just guys 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 Ooh, guys look what i just <laughs> okay tom hi tom i'm gonna explain something to you when I go onto a website for a company and it has certain things on the, that website, such as an area that tells me to join the team, an area that has success stories, an area that explains to me how the company began, an area that somehow offers some kind of like magical fix for a problem, like our products are going to help you here medically or emotionally or like do better, the best makeup or something like that, right? Because it has to fix some kind of issue, personal issue, issue in society as well in order for you guys to like manipulate to sell, right? You know, you know what I mean, Tom. You know what I mean, Tom. And then the other thing, the other thing that I look for if I'm trying to decide if a company is actually an MLM or not. And I'm sure that the people that run the r slash anti MLM, like Reddit, like they probably go by similar things as well. Like it's like, yep, check, check, check. These things are all, all in place. Yep. And they recruit people and it's all a compensation plan and it's all based off recruiting. The next thing you look for is the income disclosure statement. And if it's called an income disclosure statement, I mean, <laughs> Tom, oh, this cold is driving me nuts. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, so <laughs> here we have their income disclosure statement. Um, wait, income disclosure statement. Income disclosure statement. Okay. Yes. A year. A year. So this is a year. This is a year what you earn. So the leadership ranks, which I don't know what the fuck they're called. <laughs> They just have the percentages for them. I don't know what this is. This is the weirdest income disclosure statement. See what I mean? Like, they have all of the things that make them an MLM, but they're trying really hard to make it look like they don't. They are. I got to give them that. Tom, if you really don't know that this is an MLM and you're, like, watching this like you would, but if you are, and you're like, oh, my God, I didn't know this was an MLM. Let me tell you, like... <laughs> This is an MLM and like you got to have the name of the ranks on the income disclosure statement. This is the weirdest fucking income disclosure statement. Like 
let me know guys if it's just me like i don't know what this is like what the fuck kind of income disclosure statement is this i don't understand guys hello everyone hello everybody how are you thank you for coming on sorry that my suck so <laughs> income disclosure statement we have leadership ranks it says participants 94.24 percent like okay cool Leadership ranks 35.31%. Awesome. Like, totally cool. Um, What the fuck is it called? Like, you can't tell me that the leadership rank is actually called 35.31%. And then when you have 10 more people join, it, like, changes its name because now you're not 35.31% anymore. You're 35.38% you're now. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> And then it says compensation received annualized average. So just keep that in mind. It's the average like it usually is. They usually put, although most companies also do like low high. And I believe here they like kind of the, but yeah. So it starts off at the 94.24% and then kind of goes down. And as you can see, almost 95% of the company made between zero and $599 a year, a year. Tom, Tom, listen, Tom, I understand that you're a big TV show star. That did not come out like it was supposed to. <laughs> I understand that you're a big 90 Day Fiance TV show star. And like you got all this money and you, know, you, you post all over your Instagram about how cool and rich you are and all that, you know. But <laughs> I think that you should know you can't live off of $600 a year. Um... I mean, you're promoting this company at 90, almost 95, 94.24%. The most, most that they made was $599. 35.31%. 600 to 1,000. 31.42%. 1,001 to 2,000. That's fucking awful for a year. Like, literally, you don't even start making a livable wage until you get to the bottom three there, as you guys can see. Hold on, I'm just going to pull it up a little bit. So, 1.11% makes $20,001 to $30,000 a year. 1.35%, as you can see, is $30,001 to $100,000. And then we have point. 79, not even 0.1, that are making over 100,000. Is that you, Tom? Are you part of that? Is that why you promote this company so heavily all over your social media? To all of the people that love you and 90 Day Fiance. Again, this is my issue, Tom. My issue is that you're out here in social media land. I don't know if that's a fucking thing to call it, but we're going with it. <laughs> we live in social media world and you're out here in social media world and you're just like fucking promoting this company. You're on Instagram arguing with me when I'm trying to explain to you that it's an MLM company and that maybe you should look into, you know, the companies you promote a little bit more because I think that if you are going to promote a company, you should know all about it. I mean, just a thing and it's an MLM company and literally the people that trust you are going to be joining this and going broke because they're not going to be making any money because look at the numbers. Another thing that tells me that this is an MLM is the numbers. I don't know what I'm supposed to be researching here that I'm supposed to find. Tom, I don't know. Like, I really don't know, Tom. I'm confused. You told me to research. Like I said, you guys can go check out our conversation. It is on Instagram on the at 90 day fiance underscore etc account. The one with him dancing around. I'm going to see if I can like, 
Hold on. I'm so sorry, guys. I know I'm the worst streamer. This. This post here. I know, guys. I'm so sorry. Hold on. Ha! Let's just look at me for a minute, because I'm cool. Hee <laughs> hee. This. As you can see, Tom and I, Tom and I got into a conversation. And he told me that if I researched, that I would be able to see that it's not a scheme. And he told me, please do, please do research. Tom, Tom. I mean, I just, I really don't understand, Tom. Tom. Tom to Tom. Tom Brooks from 90 Day Fiance. I need to explain to you that this is actually a pyramid scheme. It's very dangerous for you to be promoting this company to your followers. You have a very large follower base on social media, especially Instagram, and it really worries me looking at that income disclosure statement to know that you're out here promoting it, telling people to join your team, telling them that they're going to be like making money if they do, telling them to buy these products when nobody should be buying from an MLM company. I often tell people don't buy because it helps manipulate and sell the poor consultant in it the false hope. The false hope that they might make it, which is what the company uses to keep them in and manipulate it. So I tell people, don't buy products from them, even if it's your best friend, your auntie, your godmom, your own mother. Tell them, no, I'm sorry, I don't buy products from MLMs. If there are, is anyone out there that is watching and you love 90 Day Fiance and you are a fan of Tom Brooks, please know that company is not a good company for you to be joining. He should not be promoting it. He should have looked into it further. People don't tend to promote pyramid schemes. And there's something that's an issue to me. Somebody donated $40 to my stream. Who are you and what is wrong with you? Hi, Captain Preg FX. Hello. Um, wow. Thank you. I'm not 100% sure even what it means because I'm new to this, but thank you. So, if you are a fan of Tom Brooks, just please don't, don't, don't join his team. Don't believe him when he tells you that they're good products or that you should get the products or anything like that. It's it's actually scary to me. It, it scares me, especially when, when someone has a following already. At least when I was doing It Works and Sensi, I'll be real with you. When I was doing It Works and Sensi, I didn't have this huge ass following, like at all. I'm still trying to build one now. You know what I mean? Like I got 106 subs. YouTube and I'm like yeah so I can't and I can't imagine ever coming on to YouTube if the time ever comes that I w would be promoting and promoting something like that to my followers like people that genuinely care about what I have to say about something like Tom, people look up to you and what you say about these products in this company, it matters. It matters. People are going to join this company and buy these products just because Tom Brooks from 90 Day Fiance is wearing the shirt, is dancing around, is promoting it all over social media and his fucking Instagram. Like, man, you know this. You know that that's what's going to happen. That you're using it. I I tried to be nice, Tom. I did. I tried to be nice. And I tried to look at this from like, you don't mean to do it. But like, I can't really come to the conclusion, man. Because it's an MLM pyramid scheme. You're promoting it. And I feel like 
you're not that dumb. Like, you know what you're doing. I, I don't know what's worse. I don't know what's worse. Me saying that, like, you are you are dumb and you for some reason you don't know that this is an MLM company even though it has all the signs and you've joined it. Or you legitimately, like, just know what you're doing and you're ripping people off and your followers off. Like, I don't know which one's worse. And as I'm saying it, I'm like, yeah, no, I really don't know which one's worse. <laughs> I don't. Because there is a thing to be manipulated. And I get that they try to make it look like it, as we all saw. But I don't know, Tom. I don't know. I think you know. I think you know. So, I don't know. But, you know, Tom, let me know if you don't. Let me know. If you stop promoting these companies, Tom, if you just right away just stop promoting them you take all the posts down that promotes this company and you decide that you know you're gonna fucking be a better citizen and a better fucking person on this platform like on any platform that's not trying to rip people off out there that have trust in you and faith in you as someone that's out here trying to be a social media influencer now because i don't know if your show's like i don't know if you're gonna do okay and like continue on that route. I don't, I don't know. Like you're kind of famous for being cheated on and cheating. Like and 90 day fiance, like, I don't know what you do with the career from that. I don't, but anyway, <laughs> that's another rant for another time. All I'm saying is if you do that, Tom, if you do that and you take those down and you stop promoting this MLM pyramid scheme company, I will come back on here. I will praise you. I will be like, I was all wrong about Tom. He must have been manipulated. I will. But something tells me you're not going to. Because you told me to research. And that means that you research. And you know. Again. Prove me wrong. Anyways, guys. I gotta end the stream there. I gotta get going on my day here. I'm barely clean today. Gotta get my kid from school at some point. You know, mom life. Gotta make some anti-MLM memes, you know. Follow me on social media. You can come follow me on Instagram, at Beth, Queen of Spade. You can follow me on Twitter. You can follow me, basically, if you go to my channel, this this channel here, whoop, whoop, whoop. Woo that one. If you go to my channel, then you will see all the links on my like cover pic on my channel. All my links are up there. I got a Reddit, I got I'm trying to get Discord together, although again, I'm new to all this stuff, so I'm just trying to figure it out. I'm happy I got this settled. Set settled settled. And let's fucking see what Tom does. Let's see. I don't know if he'll ever watch this, but Fucking let's see, eh, guys? Let's see. So, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Follow me if you want more of these. I plan on coming on here and doing a lot more things like this. Although, future ones will be better now that I kind of know what I'm doing a little bit. I'll, I'll, I'll play with it a little bit more this week and figure this whole thing out. <laughs> you know. A uh, special, special thanks to at 90 day fiance underscore ETC on Instagram. Go give her a follow. She is one of my viewers. I love her. She's great. I gotta thank her for like giving me the information on this and putting me to this. Otherwise, I wouldn't have even known. And this shit's happening in Canada. And I'm Canadian. I do anti-MLM stuff in Canadian. And if I don't know this, what the fuck am I doing out here, guys? So, thank you. Keep on sending me your stuff. Keep me updated on what's going on in your lives with the MLM stuff. I am looking for people to interview that have been in MLMs in the past. And I am also looking for a couple people that are either family members or close friends of people that are in MLMs right now that would be willing to be interviewed for my channel in future. Probably January would, is when it will happen. Um, so stay tuned for all that. Subscribe if you haven't already. And no matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, I hope that you all have a fabulous day. Take care, guys. Have an awesome Monday. If you're in the U.S., happy Thanksgiving. Again, Canadian, so like, I had mine in October. 
and I'm on social media, and everyone's posting turkey pics, and I'm over here like, I want some fucking turkey again, and now I gotta wait till Christmas, but, you know, whatever, okay. <laughs> so, have a great day, happy Thanksgiving to all of you, and thank you so much for watching, thank you to Captain... Craig FX, sorry if I said that wrong, for donating $40 to the stream. Holy fuck, I don't even know what the fuck, but thank you, because I've never even been supported monetarily before in my life, and that was the first time, so you have a special place in my heart forever now. So, everybody, I will see you in the next video. I did post a video today at 10 a.m. that is anti-MLM, and the next one is going to be sporadic. It will be before Friday probably. So again, hit that notification bell. So if you don't hit the notification bell, then you're not going to ever see it. Okay, alrighty. So have a fabulous day, guys.